Hello everyone. It seems I need to make an update to these uh, clock observations that I've been making with the regards to the clock observations compared to the Internet Time Service and the Internet Time Service of course are connected to the um, atomic clocks, which are atomic clocks are based on solar time. Okay, I just did an update uh, about half an hour ago and uh, it seems we lost a half second again. We actually this whole week, and in fact it looks like it's two weeks, we've been losing time. Uh, my clock, both my watch and clock were showing consistent times for about two weeks. One by the watch being, the Casio watch being half a second fast, and of course the other the clock being consistently two and a half seconds slow. But in the last almost two weeks now, the Casio has actually been perhaps even slightly slow and the other one's actually been more than two and a half seconds. But the two time devices have been in sync with each other, but not in sync with this uh, internet time server. And actually I've been having a lot of problems updating these times. I don't know what's going on with the time server, but it seems to be very hard to access these days. Okay, fortunately there's two time servers, there's default and Windows, and we can use the NIST time server. I actually, several times I've actually done this and I haven't found any discrepancy between NIST and Windows, time dot Windows. Anyway, uh, oh here we go, we've been updated. So, let's have a look. Uh, if I pull back a bit, you should be able to see these both. Let's check these. Okay, um, it's easier to do the, the Casio one, easier to see. Okay, as you'll see, Casio is about half a second fast, and the way I actually normally judge this, I actually take one of the analog clocks and put it to my ear and listen to the tick. And from that I can pretty much accurately judge half a second. Okay, so we're only half a second fast now, and yesterday we were a whole second fast. So, sometime between yesterday and today, and probably later today, because I'm pretty sure I checked this this morning, I've been doing it quite frequently these days, after the last jump. Okay, so over here, I've actually put these on the chart, and this is the Casio and the NACO timepieces. And actually over the last week, we've, they're both, well actually two weeks really, they've both been losing time. Uh, the NACO is always losing time at two and a half seconds a day, but it's actually losing more than two and a half seconds a day. And of course the Casio had previously on the previous or well, the initial two weeks I've been testing this was actually gaining about half a second every six days. And for the last two weeks it seems to be actually slightly dropping. And of course today we had the half second drop. I decided to color code these. Orange representing uh, that the time is a little bit behind and blue rips in slightly ahead. I could probably do it to the quarter second but I decided to keep just to the half second and show that okay this is a say for example on the 28th we're saying that that's at the one second mark but slightly behind it and of course that this is now at the half second mark ahead but it's slightly faster than that okay so perhaps I should be doing it at a better resolution than that but um, that's what I've been doing so far. Okay, so this is the charts, and as you can see, there's a bit of a dip at the end. And actually, this has gone flat. When we had a slight rise, taking into account the variations, and of course we had this half second adjustment here, and then the rise continued, then flat, and now a dip. Okay, this is showing the same thing, but of course it's on losing half, two and a half seconds a day, uh, and it also shows the dip down, but it's harder to see on that curve. I can probably normalize these so they both actually show horizontal lines and then you can see more accurately uh, the, the actual slowdown and these apparent slowdown on these clocks. Okay, so for some reason the time has been jumped again, so we lost another half second in the last 24 hours according to official time. Uh, and this is, let me see, is about two weeks from the last time we had that adjustment. 
so maybe this is a bi-weekly thing. Um, but we definitely, this previous two weeks, the clocks have been running, the official clock has been running slightly faster than it was in the previous two weeks. Okay, so one possible explanation for this phenomenon with the clocks is that it's actually a common element. Perhaps common element possesses some sort of shock wave, a bow wave, an electric field, a magnetic field or something which is ahead of it, which is causing Earth's rotation to uh, speed up as it's outside of Earth's orbit. But uh, as we come up to August 2nd and it crosses the um, Earth's orbit, perhaps we'll see the opposite of this phenomenon. Perhaps. Earth's rotation will begin to slow because Earth rotates counterclockwise. So as it enters within this, perhaps this bow wave or whatever might be ahead of Elenin will actually affect the Earth's rotation. Okay, so it's going to be interesting to see this uh, because this is like a early indicator, if you like, that there might be something seriously wrong with the crossing of Comet Elenin. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on this and keep you posted. So any ideas, anyone have got any comments, uh, suggestions, uh, please put them in the comment box below. And thank you for watching the video.